RCN Television and this is Kitchen Drive, the only station and program that gives you the opportunity to learn everything about kitchen. And you heard it from the Chef Fatima herself. We'll go on a short break and when we come back, we'll meet her in the class and of course see her do her thing. Don't go anywhere. ARCN Television, Kitchen Drive is the program. Stay tuned. Four method of cooking. One, you have grill. Grill. You grill, right? So what do you grill? Plantain. Yam. On that grill, you have roast. You roast fish. You grill fish. Grill? Grill. Grill is different from roasting. Grill, there is something in between. It's not a direct flame. But roast is direct flame. They roast them. As the name implies, roast. You understand? Fire the cat and wear well. But grill, you can pan grill. You can put something in this pan and grill. Okay? You can put some iron before placing what you are placing. At times you lay like a full paper under, or you lay a baking sheet. But when it comes to roast, now direct fire, they heat that product. Are we there? So grill and roast is still the same flame, but you use it in a different form. Are we there? So what do you grill? I've just mentioned what you can grill. Then next you have fry. On the frying, we are going to be looking at three different types of frying. On the frying, we are looking at three different types of frying. One, you have deep fry. On the frying, we are looking at three different types of frying. One, you have deep fry. Deep fry is frying with plenty oil. Frying a particular product with plenty oil. And what are the examples of those things you can deep fry? One. Can I get some from you? Now, donut must not be deep fried. Now, chin chin. Deep fry, there are prelequisite to what I'm saying. Prelequisite means if you not do them like that, something will go wrong. But donut, you can fry it with little or no oil. Just small oil. Okay? Puff puff. If you want to manage oil, fry puff puff. You go soak that oil. Where you want to manage? Akara. If you want to manage oil, fry akara. You go soak them. If you want to manage oil, fry it. You to soak it and remain there for you. Are we there? So those are the things you deep fry. There are things that you can deep fry, you can also shallow fry. So second, we have shallow fry. Shallow fry is cooking with a medium oil. Medium. Not too much, but you still get your product right, intact. Example. What are example of things we can shallow fry? Donut is one of them. Yam. Meat, fish. You pan... No, pancake is not even part of it. Now, now you can't deep fry egg. Deep fry means oil goes still there inside, though. Visible, plenty, not too much. Do you understand? So, yam. You know when you pour yam inside oil, at times the oil not they come on top. We should finish. Maybe you they turn up. Maybe the other side to go fry. You want to fry meat after frying this side, you turn the other side to for it to fry uniformly good. So those are the things you can shallow fry. Then we now have stir fry. Stir fry is frying a product with little or no oil at all. Stir fry, stir, stir fry. Stir fry is frying a product with little amount of oil or no oil at all. Example of those things are pancakes. Egg. Egg. You can fry egg using this non-stick pan without a single oil. You can fry the egg and it will fry. Because this is a non-stick. If you use non-stick, cook rice, or cook semo, do anything. Even if you burn, you know go stick to the pot. If you pack your food, you just use your hand. Lift burnt one and just crush it out. Are we there? It won't stick. Bake. 
Bacon. 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 So what do we bake and how do we bake? You can bake using your oven gas, electric oven. Okay? Charcoal. You can use charcoal to bake. Then also you can use um what can you bake? Cakes, pastries, donuts, you can bake your chin chin. If you are the kind of person that doesn't need oil at all, you bake your chin chin, you bake your donuts. If not, you fry them. It might interest you to know any product you fry is sweeter than the one you bake. Because it comes in contact with oil, so it's sweeter. But this one you baked might look a little bit dry. It's not that you no go sweet, but the sweetness no go they compare to the one where you fry. But baking is more healthier. Frying is more sweeter. So it's now your choice to choose which one to go with. Are we there? So next, last but not the least, is steaming. Steaming. Steaming or steam. Steaming or steam. So what do you need to steam? And what do we steam? Because cooking itself, I say five formula, four method of cooking, right? Cooking itself is a general term for all the things I'm mentioning. You won't go do this. You say, I won't go cook this. I won't cook rice. I won't cook semo soup. I won't cook, I won't cook uh, goosey soup. I won't cook this. I won't. You understand? So cooking is a general term. Now, steaming. What do we steam? You can steam fish. You can steam vegetable. You can steam semo. You steam moi moi. You steam semo. You steam rice. You steam, that soup where you won't go cook, now steam with a steamer. That is goosey soup. You are steaming a goosey soup. Okay, it falls under steaming because cooking is a general term. Okay, so from now, from here, we move to menu for the day. One, we'll look at small chops as a heading. Small chops. Small chops. Small chops. So under the small chops, we'll be looking at spring roll, spring roll. And this spring roll, we are going to be making it from scratch. Even if we never do them before, today we are making it from, yes, small chops. Under the small chops, I say we have spring rolls, then you have spring roll filling. 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 Next, you have samosa. Next, you have samosa. Yeah, samosa. You have samosa. Still under the, the small chop. So it now depends on you if, if you want to name it A, B, C. Okay? Samosa. Then under samosa now you have samosa filling. Next, you have spring roll and samosa butter. Spring roll and samosa butter. Butter is B-A-T-T-E-R. Spring roll and samosa butter. Still under the small chops, we have spicy veggie chops. We have taken recipe. Now we are taking process. Recipe means ingredient, right? Then process means steps to produce what we just mentioned. So what I want us to do, for all this recipe I've given you for each of the menu, we pick one of the menu and treat it. We do it to finish. Then we pick another one and produce it to what? To finish. Spring roll. Recipe for spring roll filling. Recipe for spring roll filling. One, you have shredded cabbage. Shredded cabbage. 
shredded cabbage. Next, you have grated carrots. Grated carrots. You have slant cut onion. Slant, slant cut onion. Slant cut onion. Slant cut onion. Slant cut onion. You have strip, strip cut red and green bell pepper. Strip cut. You can see cutting even have different names. So, but we go just enter kitchen. You want to cook jollof fry now, the same cut. You want to prepare this now, the same cut. But you use different cut for different food. Strip, strip cut red and green bell pepper. Strip means like this. Strip, strip cut red and green bell pepper. Spring onion chopped. 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 Next, you need sesame oil and veggie oil to fry. Sesame oil. Sesame. Sesame oil and veggie oil to fry. Next, you have seasoning to taste. Seasoning to taste. Seasoning means that thing where you they put for food, where they sweet. Majority of Unabu call them Maggi. Maggi is a brand. We have more than 20 brands of seasoning. But everybody, you go see person, they cook with no. He say na Maggi. If they cook with Reiko, he call them Maggi. Do you understand? Maggi is just a brand of its own. Hmm? So next, next you have your spices. For the spices, you need garam masala powder. You know we have our brand, spice brand here. We have spice that we export. And those spices are certified by NAFDAQ. We export them. We produce and export. So you'll be hearing some funny names of spices. Those are our own brand of spices. One, we have garam masala powder. Next, you have cardamom, cardamom, next you have cumin, 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 now process, process in a pan, process in a pan, which is your pot, in a pan, add some little veggie oil. Follow it up with sesame. You? Sesame oil is an aromatic, healthy cooking oil. Sesame oil is an aromatic, look at the names. Some people call them sesame. Sesame, you understand? They pronounce it cooking oil. Aromatic. Can you perceive the aroma? Yes. It's an aromatic healthy cooking oil. Though it's very expensive. But all you need is a drop. It's circulate the whole area. Okay? Then allow this oil to heat up a bit and drop in your onion to build your flavor. Drop in your onion to build your flavor. Then you stir fry, okay? So I'm stir frying. I'm stir frying. Remember, you are dealing with vegetables, so you don't allow it to overcook. Everything should be stir fry. Just little, little heat on it. You are good to go, okay? So next. You add your strip cut red and green bell pepper. Do you know your red bell? No. Tatase. Oh. Green bell. That one where resemble tatase, but green one, eh? So you add it as well. Then you stir, 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 stir. Okay? So next, you add your Carrots.
Next, you add your cabbage. That is the shredded, shredded cabbage. After the cabbage, now your spices. I'm adding cardamom, then cumin. I'm going to use my spice blender to blend it, okay? You just turn it and it blends everything for you because they come in seeded form. You add, then your garam masala powder, a pinch. This is a pinch. Hmm? Then your seasoning to taste. You add some seasoning to taste. So the least you'll be seeing us using here is salt. We actually avoid cooking with salt. But a lot of people don't know, the moment you avoid cooking with salt, you live healthy life. But how do you get it balanced? Salt is just to balance the taste of your food. Salt shouldn't be ultimate. But a lot of persons cook, but to them, salt is the ultimate. Now, we're good. Salt is meant to correct the taste. But salt shouldn't be ultimate. You know, we are dealing with vegetables, so you have to be careful so you don't overcook. Salt shouldn't be your ultimate while cooking. So I need to spread it properly. In terms of side, that is plating it with your rice or your potato, your pasta. And you know a lot of kids don't like eating vegetables. You can use this to deceive them. Because it's sweet. You can tell them, oh, do you know when you eat this? Kid, they like me, you say they will get power because of their counterparts. So tell him he's going to gain more energy to be that guy that is, you understand, troubling him. Really? You hear, really? You say, yeah. And I'm telling you, they'll finish the vegetable within a twinkle of an eye. So now, next, let's take recipe for samosa filling. Onion. Chopped onion. Chopped carrot chopped onion, chopped red and green bell pepper, chopped carrot, chopped onion, chopped red and green bell pepper. Then you need sesame oil and veggie oil to fry. I'm adding my veggie oil, sesame oil and veggie oil to fry. Sesame oil and veggie oil to fry. So, I'll still come back to, I've not given you all the menu, but, the recipe I mean, but I want to start cooking my beef, because it takes a little bit of time to cook, so I want to start cooking the beef. So now, I'm adding some onion, just to what? Just to develop my flavor, okay? You develop, a lot of us don't develop flavor while you cook at home. You build flavor first. Before you start cooking, let people be perceiving the aroma now. Uh -uh. Let them know you are there. You are in the kitchen. You understand? You can use this as your own signature. Before you cook, you can finish this and off the gas and go to bed. <laughs> While people are waiting for food, you tell them I've not started. I'm just preparing. See, uh, on top of this aroma, where will they perceive? So you say, yeah. So that should be your own style of cooking. Developing your flavor. Yeah. That, this one goes sweet for face me and face you house. Mm, let people respect you. You go go do this. First thing in the morning, weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Yes, you wake up 5.30. You fry. So I add my grounded beef. So I'm mashing it out. I need some oil. So, that should be your routine before you go to church. Hmm? You develop flavor. Keep. 
if you come back, tell them say I'm not preparation to cook that stew as they do. So until I come back from church as they, as they cook the stew, they will begin to wonder. I, I, I don't understand. If you can't cook the food, stay. They go knock your door. <laughs> you they crazy. That food they go chop and together with you. Because, and you know, if persons are being cooked for place, they, they respect that person well, well. Yes, yeah, so even if not for family, you see husband bragging with your wife. The same husband today go ask him for money for soup, you know, go bring. You go say, ah, I don't have money. But if you cook him, ah, if you go sit down for joints, they tell family and friend, oh, that woman, she's a good cook. Ah, no, she's fantastic cook. Ask him for money. You know, go bring. Okay? So, I try to mash my grounded base just to keep it ready before we start. So we can allow this to be cooking. Look at what I have. Let me show you a lot of water. So that water needs to dry off while we cook. So, so let's allow this guy to keep cooking while we process other things. Now, we allow this guy to be, let me reduce the heat. You buy it now. We have the grounded machine, but if you don't have, if you go to where they sell meat, they used to have the machine there. If you buy it there, I think the grounding is 100 naira for one kg. They'll ground it for you there, okay? But I also teach you how to do it locally, but not today. Maybe if we are doing pastry, I'll teach you that, how you can get it, okay, yourself. So, while this guy is busy cooking, let's take the remaining recipe, okay? Where do we stop? Oil, sesame oil and veggie oil to fry, right? Okay, next you have your seasoning to taste. Seasoning to taste. Seasoning to taste. Then I'll be mixing my seasoning with some oyster sauce. I'll be mixing my seasoning with some oyster sauce. Oyster sauce is a sweet sauce, very, very sweet, classic. It gives a different dimension of taste to your cooking. Okay, it gives a different dimension of taste to your cooking. You can use your sesame oil to even eat your pasta. Like the busy mom in the morning, kids are going to school, you don't have tomatoes, you want to make stew, you want to do this. You can still cook that same white rice with oil or butter, then you add oyster sauce to it. You eat your fried yam or fried potato. Are we good? Yeah. So next, next, you have your CFC. For the spices, you have CFC. And CFC is called Chef Fatima condiments. Like I told you, we export the spices. We supply to ships. We have about 15 ships we supply our spices to in Lagos. We supply to them like after three months. In food, when it comes to food business, you make more money in production than cooking to sell. Yes. If you are into production aspect of food, you make more money. Because these people order in bulk. For cooking, you go, they wait for customer to place order. But for this, they give you the money to produce. Because most of them are even white men. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, be enter kitchen, begin cook, amala, cook, semu, be the ultimate. No, you make more money if you are into the production section. Are we there? If you go to Western world, most of the chefs don't cook. They are into production. Biscuits, lollipops, this, 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 that. Those are the people that make money. So if you are preparing food and you want to make it, you have to be doing in volume. But you have to start from somewhere, right? Good. So let's quickly add this, our carrots, peppers, for it to keep cooking while we still take the remaining uh, recipe. So you saute as well. You can saute this too. There is one thing I also want you to work with when you are cooking colors. Look at this. 
You work with color. A lot of people don't work with color. You cook the food alone is looking annoying. Your food is supposed to be smiling like a rainbow. Are we there? Some food looks annoying. They are not happy. The food itself is not happy with you. But when you work with color, your food looks smiling, even if it's dark. Do you know there is a way you can present your amala? Amala will be looking interesting because amala is black. Bitterly soup. There is a way you can present it. Somebody will want to eat it. Do you understand? You know the soup is ugly, but it's sweet well well. Hmm? So those are what I'm trying to say. So next, I said you have your CFC, which is Chef Fatima condiment. You have your garam masala powder. And of course, you have your fennel. This is my fennel. I'm going to use my spice blender to blend the fennel. So now, so you saute. After sauteing, you drop in your minced beef. Then you use masha to mash. Because if you didn't mash it out, it might not be mash, it could be spoon. Just take your time to break it. If you didn't break it, it will form big, big lumps for you. Are we there? So you mash it out. After mashing it out, you allow it to cook. Next, you add your peppers, carrots, and other things. Okay? You add your red bell pepper, your green bell pepper, and of course, the carrots. After adding those things, you saute and let it cook a little bit on a low heat you start adding your spices. First, I've added fennel. That is the stage we are now. So next, I'll be adding my CFC, which is the Chef Fatima condiment. CFC, Chef Fatima condiments. Next, you add your seasoning. You saute. Do you know the sage? Is it variety is spice of life? Oh, spice is variety of life. How the English be? Thank you. So please, you can cook with less seasoning, very small seasoning, and more of spices. Because spices, natural, like our spices are 100% natural. No food additive, no preservative, nothing. And those natural spices are naturally sweet. Some persons use our spices to cook without a single seasoning. And you still get it right. Most especially if you want to do grills. Oh, God. Just ask those things. Hmm. I hope you won't bite your finger. So now I'm adding oyster sauce. Wow. We've seen everything and heard what she has said. We've talked again about the young adults and she has said a lot about the program. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the program, Kitchen Drive. Why don't you keep a date with us next time for another special episode of the program. I am Hilda Homsen Fuantuan and I assure you that we're going to give you more of everything we need about kitchen. Keep watching ARCN TV and see you next time. Eat good food and you know what? Take good care of yourself. She said the production is the main deal of the kitchen, not just the cooking. So go ahead and learn everything she has said. This is ARCN Television and of course I urge you to watch more of our programs. Have a nice time and I'm out.